this right here is a bicycle. It typically takes you from point A to point B. But today, instead of doing that, I'm gonna be fully utilizing its potential and use it to generate my electricity for the next 24 hours. Most of us take our electricity for granted. We flip a switch or plug into an outlet and boom, we have electricity. But how much work does it actually take to power our days? Now I'm no engineer, nor do I know how to generate my own electricity. So that's where my friend Bradley Whaley steps in. Bradley is an electrical engineer who specializes in building electrical generators. And for this video, he and his team built me a powerful $3,000 system that will connect to my bike and generate electricity as I pedal, storing it in a battery for me to use later. Before Bradley left, he also challenged me with a list of tasks that I have to try and power the entire day. Okay, so that if I want to do this for real, this is what I have to do. This, this whole list. Yeah, I mean, I, it's it's very hard to accomplish this, and I, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you can do it, but if you can, you really are an amazing athlete. <laughs> I packed everything I needed and headed to a location completely off the grid. So the first task on the list for me to charge is a cell phone. And right now, I have my cell phone right here. It is at 0%, it won't even turn on. Now it's really important that I get my phone charged because if I can't charge this, I won't be able to get food today. Cameraman Derek has all my food, so if I wanna eat, I have to charge up this phone and be able to call him to tell him to bring it over here and tell him where to even find me. Three, two, one. Let's go. We're we'll trying to find a consistent case here. Looks like we're outputting about 150 watts. I started with 0% of my battery and my goal was to hit a 25% charge. A 25% charge would total 500 watt hours, which is the exact amount of power Bradley said I'd need to complete every item on the list. And to up the pressure to make sure I push myself today, if I failed to hit the 25% before 5 p.m., I'd have to sleep in a tent outside in the cold in an area known to have coyotes and mountains lines roaming around gosh now i have a secret little weapon right here i'm gonna fully maximize my output here we have a hand crank and i'm gonna start charging my phone while that battery charges i'm gonna start cranking this baby it's literally charging right now maybe not by much but it is charging it yo we got one percent already one percent no way this is off the grid living baby let's go up until this point i was on an empty stomach and starting to get very hungry so i pedaled for a few more minutes and then started to charge up my phone so i could call Derek. oh here we go you see the apple logo it's starting to turn on wow that was actually pretty easy that didn't take too much effort here we go calling cameraman Derek. hopefully he picks up yo Derek, ready for the food Awesome, dude, I'm on my way. While Derek was on the way, I continued pedaling since I need quite a lot of electricity to cook my breakfast. 160 calories. Dude, this burns energy fast. Uber Eats is here. Let's go, camera Derek. Uber Eats. Yeah, I got an order for uh, Brandon. <laughs> Let's go, dude, thank you. We got our food, camera Derek, thanks for bringing it out. Of course, bro. I'm gonna get back to work. For the next hour, I went hard on the bike. The next task on my list was to cook breakfast, and for this, I need at least a 9% charge on the battery. This was a struggle to say the least. My legs were on fire, and I was starting to realize how hard this challenge was actually going to be. About an hour and a half later, I finally hit the 9% charge. Yes, let's go. Okay, ah, oh, my legs hurt a lot. We got a nice close-up of this back tire. It is starting to wear down a little bit. Yo, this is 50 pounds, it's no joke. Welcome to Brandon's Off-Grid Kitchen. The next task on the list is to cook breakfast with the energy we just generated. I brought a single burner. Last but not least, I brought a toaster as well. And this is going to be like the, the last thing I try and use because this burns up power fast. Salt on there. Pepper. Yeah, on the battery, plugging that in. Uh, AC on. Oh my god, it's already at seven. Yo, this thing's using up energy fast. Please cook. Dude, it's it's so hot in here right now. <laughs> I'm sweating more than I was like actually out there biking. Getting some some color, some lightness in there. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna put this all the way on max. We're starting to see a little bit of steam. All right, I think we're good. Let's unplug it so it's not using up any more energy. Yeah. Ah, oh, <laughs> we ran out of energy. The toast is not, oh my God. It, pretty floppy. It's just hot. You know what, it's okay. I like my toast light anyway. We worked so hard just for this right here. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, this is, so, this is so tough cooking in this tent. This better taste good. Not bad, this tastes really good. After fueling up and resting, I was ready to go back at it. All I need to finish is an extra 16% charge. And my next goal was to charge the battery another 6% before resting, as that would be enough electricity to power my next couple tasks on the list.
Dude, you slowing down? Yeah. We got a long way to go. Oh, I know. I'm only at 3%. Do it for oh. the subscribers, come on. Oh, for the subscribers. You got it. Yeah, like a lot of people just take things for granted in countries, a lot of countries don't have energy. They don't have lights when they go home at night. They have kerosene lamps and they have to breathe that kerosene oil every night to do their homework. You know, something has to do the work to get what they enjoy every day. You know, there's something running 24 seven making this energy and we just take it for granted. 5%. Uh, one more. All we need is one more percent. Let's go. Push, push. You got it. Come on. Uh, pick it up. Pick it up. Just hit six percent. Let's go. Come on. The lights at the end of the tunnel. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Six percent. Woo. We are almost two thousand calories in right now, and I have only had two eggs with uh, two pieces of toast and avocado. But luckily, though, we charged up the battery to our goal, which is six percent, and we can move on to the next task on our list, which is the protein shake. Come on, add all my... Yeah! The power of my own body right here. I think this is it, man. Oh, this looks so good. I'm so excited. This is extremely refreshing. Oh my. I'm just gonna be sitting here resting, finishing the shake, and then we're gonna go hard. By the time my phone is at 100%, the battery should be at 4% charge. All I need is 10% more. So the battery has to hit 14% and then I'll be done for the day. And hopefully we'll do that all before 5 p.m. This was it, the final stretch. I only had two hours and 30 minutes left to hit my goal of 25%. And if I'm being honest, I wasn't sure I could make it. With all the cycling I had done, and the sun beating down on me the entire day, I was exhausted. Dude, this is one of the toughest things I've ever done. I honestly don't know if I can hit 25%. All right, let's screw the music at this point. Time was going by quickly, and I was making good progress, but I had to pick up the pace if I wanted to make it in time. Leg, it's time to bring in the reinforcements. Don't on me, brother. I got you. Yes. Mm. How are we doing on time, bro? Uh, 28 minutes, man. 28 minutes. 28? Yeah, let's go. You got to pick it up. Last stretch. I am not sleeping in that tent over there. No way. So do it. 13%. 13%. Four you minutes, dude. Ah. Pick it up. Ah, come on. Ah. Yeah. My legs are killing me. Hey, you got it. You got it. Let's go. Let's go. Dig deep. Dig deep. You don't want to sleep outside, do you? No. Ah, oh, the donuts! <laughs> no, not my donuts, bro. Let's go! Ugh. Any second is gonna have to go on the show. So, Just kidding, let's go! Let's go, 14! Let's go! Oh, oh my, oh. oh. Let's go, yo, what, what's the time though, what's the time? Dude, 4.59. No way, we were one minute? Let's go. Oh, let's go. Buzzer beater, baby. As you can see on the Apple Watch, 2,553 calories, five hours and 50 minutes. I'm just straight up riding. That last percentage was killing me, dude. It was stuck at 13 for so long. Yes. I don't have to sleep in that tent. The entire system is covered in rubber. The roller is hot too, man. Definitely hit the like and subscribe for that one. If that isn't enough to earn your like and subscription, I don't know what is, man. For the final items on my list, I had to power a lamp, a TV, and finally a gaming system. Yo! It has actually been 12 years since I've played on a GameCube. And it only takes 76 watts. Surprisingly, the entire setup took a very small amount of energy, and that meant I could play Super Smash Bros. for over an hour. This was the best reward I could have gotten after a long day of hard work. I have to say, after generating my own electricity for an entire day, I have gained a new appreciation for how easily I can access electricity.